All right, this is gonna be a little different, uh, a little weird for me anyway, probably not for you, but I feel like uh, I'm supposed to do a walk and talk, but I don't, uh, I don't have anything planned. I don't have anything uh, I feel that it's important to say at the moment, uh, other than it's Pride Month and uh, be proud. If you're not part of the LGBTQ community, be a strong and fierce ally. But anyway, <laughs> now that we got that out of the way. I've talked before about how um, the, uh, the American society, the capitalist society, has never felt right. Never, uh, and I mean never. I mean, I remember being a little kid thinking, I don't want to... I don't want to be like these grown-ups. They all seem miserable. <laughs> all they do is work, come home and be tired, work some more, be stressed out, all that. I didn't want any of that. I ended up having it most of my life anyway, but uh, I didn't want it. And I, I think uh, I'm feeling prompted. <laughs> this is an interior prompting. I, I don't believe in anything supernatural. so. Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, if you feel like that, um, you're you're uh, you're not wrong. If you uh, if you believe the story of evolution, we evolved to be walking around three to four hours a day of most days, uh, looking for food, and then spending the rest of the time enjoying our lives. If you believe the story of creation from, say, the Bible, then that says that we, were, we are supposed to tend a garden and take care of ourselves that way. Uh, either way, we're, we're not supposed to be spending the majority of our waking hours working jobs we don't like that are completely unfulfilling that take us away from our families our homes and the things that we enjoy most um, just to be able to pay bills just to be able to survive that's just that that's not the way we're designed now you may also believe that uh, we, it's a combination of those two things great still the same outcome <laughs> it's not we're not designed to live this way uh, and it, and I know there are a few of you watching right now who are saying, oh, I love my job. I love my, great, great. That's, I'm, I'm, keep doing what you're doing. If it's working for you, keep doing it. I am very happy for you. But most people are not. It doesn't work for them. They're not happy. What about those folks? Anyway. <laughs> Now, uh, there's another thing that came to mind. For those of you who believe the Bible, and you believe, yeah, but Adam and Eve sinned, and now we're cursed to uh, make our living from the sweat of our brow. First of all, do you? Do you make your living from the sweat of your brow? Or do you sit in an air-conditioned office? Or your air-conditioned home, whatever. Uh, and number two, <clears throat> if you are a Christian, I, I thought Jesus' blood, you know, took care of the curse. I thought you weren't cursed anymore because you accepted Jesus. And if that's the case, then shouldn't we be back, be back to the garden? Back to just, you know, tend the garden? Enjoy your life. All right, enough theology. I guess what I just, I just want to tell you guys, if you're thinking, man, this just isn't right, I'm not enjoying this, I'm not enjoying my life, um, or I enjoy my life when I'm not at work, those types of things, you're not alone, you're not weird, you're not bad, you're not, you're just you, and 
I'm with you. I don't think you were designed to live that way. Maybe we can find some answers together. Maybe not. I don't know. What I do know is that there are alternatives to this American capitalist lifestyle where you just work until you die. And I want to encourage you to explore them for yourself. Talk to you later.